Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Shadow of War. Now, when we left off, we were introduced rather, <laughs> rather politely to the Slaughter Tribe, and we've even dominated some of them. And we saw Nakra do an absolute amazing job at dealing with some extremely high-leveled orcs. And now, because this only has one tick to go, Tinniglitz one turn, one tick, whatever, I am going to be doing this. And we're going to be helping Hura to do a checkpoint raid against an unknown captain. I don't think I really need to help him, but I'm doing this literally just because I want his loyalty to stay as high as possible. If attack comes, take cover behind the arch. Stone protect you. Bloody! Bloody, bloody, bloody! Right, yes, he is a blood lover after all. This fellow is also from the Sorter tribe as well, by the way. So, oh my, whoa, that was some damage, wasn't it? Is he, does he have iron will? Yes, this guy has iron will as well. I am very, uh, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. I'm, I'm actually unsure why they all have iron will. Is it because the Nazgul are in the area and maybe they're making the orcs here significantly more powerful in that regard? Hmm, maybe that's the case, who knows. I don't think I actually need to do anything. I personally don't think I need to do anything. I'm gonna go over here and, well, I guess dominate some enemy grunts just so that we can, ah. That doesn't seem that it's going to work, actually, unfortunately. Seems like I'm going to just have to do this the old-fashioned way. The other guy is going to die very, very easily, so it might not even be necessary. Wow. Okay, Hura is an absolute beast. I mean, obviously, he did out-level him by 20 levels. Okay, that's a bit much, isn't it? All right, well, there you go. Cannot exceed Talion's level. Yes, we know that. Thank you very much. And there's also something else going on there. What, what else is going on there? I want to make sure that all of my orcs in this area are as loyal to me as possible. Let's take a look and see what this sword is. Oh. Oh. This is actually really nice. It gives us 18 more damage as well. Hmm. Okay. It might be something that we want to go for. I mean, 35 health recovery on a critical hit? Why not? Why not? Let's use that. Let's use that. It's going to get even more damage once we upgrade it as well. And I was, I was complaining last time that we didn't have a very good sword, so hopefully that's a little bit better. All right, so there is actually something else that we can do here. It's a Celebrimbor activity. Use Shadow Strike to kill archers. What is this? Scoth the Legendary is undergoing a trial. Okay, there's also another tribal showdown over there. I'm not entirely sure if I want to do the tribal showdown just yet, because there is another event that the Slaughter Tribe DLC adds, as far as I'm aware, which is a I can show you how to conquer Mordor, rebellion. As I think it keeps Gondor safe. I think it is. I think it's called a tribal rebellion or something along those lines. Oh, a supply raid is now also available. All right, I, I'm not entirely sure who is doing that. If it's Hura, maybe I want to do that. Now, I think the reason why those missions turn up is it's basically saying, hey, this orc is not very trusting of you. And in other words, is wanting you to do these things to get them to trust you so that they're less likely to have kind of betrayals going on. Anyway, Keller Brimbor was quick to use elven magic in his prior assault on Mordor. Use Shadow Strike to kill archers. My dad, the virtue of invention. In life, I had no equal among elven jewelsmiths and artists. If I could conceive it, I could bring it into being. Oh. Right. Okay, I did it a little bit wrong. We're gonna just retry that mission real quick, because the side objectives took too long to appear. I'm gonna blame the... <laughs> I'm gonna blame the, blame the delay there for a second. Uh, yeah. It doesn't really matter, actually, because I don't, I don't really care about the gems so much, but... I could conceive it, I could bring it into being. I mean, if we do this, 
each target while in bird of prey. Wow, that's 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 kind of harsh, isn't it? But I think we should be able to do fine. As long as we continue to pick up these things. We have to do this in what, one minute? Yeah. Okay. I I don't know whether I'm actually going to succeed on this personally. Because Ah. Uh, yeah. That's um that didn't really work, did it? Okay, what about this guy? There we go. And there's another one over there. Well, this is this is quite tricky. This is quite tricky to do it in Bird of Prey, actually, because you need to find a jump-off point, because you can't just jump whenever you like. You have to find a ledge or something. So that's... Uh, okay, there's nothing around here. Wow, that's, that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. I would have thought that they would have designed it to make it so that you would have no problems whatsoever in finding places to jump off, but apparently... No, no. Apparently they don't, they don't care about that, really. But maybe I'm just taking the wrong path. That is probably it, to be honest. Okay, there's another one over there. And they, they make it a bit difficult to find out where these guys are. Okay, there's one over there. And I've got 16 seconds. That's not enough time. Pretty sure that's not enough time. 14 seconds now. Is it? Is it enough time? I somehow doubt it. Oh, we've got two left. Okay. Four seconds. Four seconds. Okay, we could do this. Jump, Calabrimbo. No. Ah. Uh. Oh, did you see that? I rolled. I rolled because I thought... Oh, I'm right at the edge, but no, I actually was not right at the edge, unfortunately. Oh well, never mind. We tried our best. At least we've gotten the skill point. I mean, that was the main reason why I wanted to do it. And if we had just continued, I actually, huh? I guess the only reason why I failed that is because you have to kill each target while in bird of prey. That was the only reason why that took a little bit longer. Yes. Uh. Of power seems reckless to those whose petty fears overcome their vision. A true creator accepts no limitations on invention. All right. So we are gonna go over here. Uh, who's that? Oh, that's Hura and Scoth. Okay. I'm just gonna go to help out Hura one more time, and then we're gonna go to another region and see if there's any tribal rebellion stuff going on because we actually don't own this area obviously I mean you know that we don't own you know Minas Morgul so you know if we own the fortresses in the other places then we're much more likely to be gaining the tribal rebellion event which would be quite fun to do so let's just do this get Hura a little bit more loyalty I hope Guard these supplies as if your lives depended on it. Because they do. Bloods. Bloody bloods. Bloody bloods. Well, it seems like he's um, technically one word, isn't he? Because he's kind of always just saying blood and bloody blood and so on and so forth. Okay, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to wait here. Let, shall, we, shall we just see whether... I don't know, I need a brutalized kill, don't I? And I need to upgrade my sword. So it might be an idea for me to just jump down here and, and do something. How about this? Oh, that's a knockdown. I want a brutalized kill, please. Uh, yeah, it's not really going to work, is it? Uh, okay, fine. Let's just go and join the fray then, I guess. I'd like to get some critical hits, please. Oh dear. Stunned the guy by mistake. I wonder, what, does, isn't he the one that enrages upon being frozen? No, it seems like, no, that's not the case. What? 
What was that? Did you see that? I literally got teleported across the way there. That was weird. Okay. Well, let's just critically hit some people here. Just so that we can get some easy critical hits. And I think that's it. There we go. Right, so that should be it. I mean, Hura is going to be able to defeat this guy pretty easily, I'm, I'm sure. Right? I mean, I don't really... <sighs> yes, of course I get poisoned. Should I, should, I, should I dominate him? Should I should I actually dominate this guy? Yeah, maybe I should. Okay, let's dominate him. If we can, because he might have Iron Will. Does he have Iron Will? He does! Oh, that is annoying. Oh, that is, that is very annoying. I'm actually wondering whether every single orc in the game now has Iron Will. If that is indeed the case, that's pretty bad. That is some pretty bad design right there. And it kind of makes me think, maybe, just maybe, they, uh, they're kind of inciting you to, you know, pick up those loot boxes. Uh, yeah, didn't really want to do that. Thank you very much. Okay, so... There we go. That's it. That is done. I'm going to leave Scoth to his um, <laughs> to his trial to kill the ravenous Caragor. And we're going to go to another region now. And we're going to see actually where Altariel is as well. Because she's around here somewhere. Ah, there she is. Did you see her? Yes. She's over here in uh, Gorgoroth. Oh, no. There's actually... Oh, wow. There's a huge amount of tribal showdowns there. Okay. And what about here? Tribal showdowns, tribal warband, okay, well we've seen we've seen those before. But they do give us some pretty awesome rewards if we're able to get those. Ah, the Scourge. There's that, that's where Altariel is. So she's in Saragost at the moment. I guess it might be a nice idea to go and do that. And maybe we'll also do the tribal showdown because that was just really, really fun to do. Unfortunately, I do not have Nakra with me right here. So that's going to be a bit of an issue, because no doubt these Slaughter Tribe Orcs are going to be quite high level. So I guess I'm just going to have to use someone that is really good. So who is that? This guy? This guy is the one? Yeah, this guy is the one. Yeah, he is my bodyguard right now, and I'm going to be using him. As you can see, most of the Orcs that I have under my control in this area are really, really low level. So it would be kind of useful for me to level them up a little bit, I, I guess. I do have one skill point here, so I might as well spec into Deep Freeze. And we should go for that, I guess? Yeah, why not? Alright, so we are ready. And where is Altariel? She's over here. Oh, that's actually really close. The Nazgul are coming for you. Defend the fortress? <gasps> oh. Okay. Well, that's going to be quite interesting because most of my orcs, as I said, are actually really low level. So, let's do it. There we are. The Nazgul are coming for you. Defend the fortress. That should be easy enough. Right? Helm Hammerhand. Of all the Nazgul, his fall was most tragic. His rage knows no bounds. The Dark Lord will have his prize, Ranger of Gondor. That fortress is a tiny island surrounded by a sea of darkness. And the tide rises against you. Beasties, boss! Shriekers are yours! I really hope Ushak does not die. I'd very much appreciate it if he didn't. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so here's, here's where things get a little bit weird. I'm going to have to do this. Boom! There we go. Okay, he obviously cannot be killed by that. And now there is also a Drake in the area. I've got to say, I'm not a big fan of that. Yes, it hit him. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Come on now. Let's do some dodges. 
Okay, now this guy's obviously got some different abilities. Where's he going? Oh. He's gonna go up there, isn't he? Oh, the Drake has come down. Well, that's not very good, is it? Whoops, sorry. Sorry, Ushak. I'm gonna heal you. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so where is... Can I ask? Where is the rest of our orcs? Where are, where are they? That's very weird. Okay, well, is there still a Drake around here? And, uh, yeah, I, I think there is. Isn't he up there? Okay, what I'm gonna do is gonna do some damage to this Drake. There we go. And now Shadow Mounted. Oh, yeah, there we go. That is what we like to see. Oh. oh, okay. Apparently, that's not what we like to see. Apparently, I'm unable to do that. Did you see that? Wow. Okay. Yeah, well, apparently we're not allowed to uh, take the Drake as our own. That's very, very bad. And I guess I'm just going to have to leave Ushak to his devices, and I'm going to have to go over here and deal with the Nazgul. Oh. And now there's a Krog. That's not very nice. Okay, well, let's just do some more executions. There we go. Yes, more executions. This guy seems a little bit easier than the other one. But I suppose we did have Altariel to help us out a little bit more there. Now, what what is going to happen if I try to injure this growl here and then try to dominate it? Is it going to disappear? No? No, it's not going to disappear. Okay, well that's a bit weird because the the Drake did get killed, weirdly enough, so I'm not entirely sure what's happening with that. But Ushak is still a beast, as we know. I mean, you can see him off to the left there with his little icon, his level 26 level icon, and uh, he's just being amazing, as per usual. Is he enraged? Seems like the, the Nazgul is enraged a little bit. Not a big fan of that. Okay, there we go. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, I really... I got him there. What? There we go. Okay, he was interrupting me all the time. Oh. What, what, what? Slow him. What about yours? Oh, okay. Uh, I actually did... What? <laughs> what? I actually... I don't think... No. Okay, that was meant to happen. That was scripted. I was thinking to myself, I did not fail that, and I took a huge amount of damage for some unknown reason. And now I am stuck in a, in a quick time event against this ghoul. Isn't that hilarious? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh. And am I gonna literally... Uh... Oh, okay. That has to be the most humiliating death I've ever suffered in this game. But I couldn't do anything about it. You saw that, right? I couldn't do anything about that because I was stuck in the mission complete screen. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, right. Okay. Well, guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, kind of grinds my gears a little bit because I was not really wanting to, uh, not really wanting to die right there. Yes. Okay, well, let's have a look. Tribal Showdown. There's also a Tribal Warband and another Tribal Showdown. Okay, so the Tribal Warband is over here. I guess we should go and do that, shouldn't we? 
We do have someone that can help us with it. This world. Right, so... How do I get up here? Oh, there we go. Just around there. Oh, they've placed it in a very annoying position, haven't they? they, they they're quite good at that, I found. <laughs> they're quite good at that. Especially when you go into those underground caverns in Kirith Ongol. And then you have to try and find whether they're, it's up or down or left or right or whatever. Alright, let's see what kind of orcs we're going to be facing here. I have devised a special torture just for you. But first, we will slaughter your whole army. Eat Shrach and die, you Shrach eating Shrach. Right, okay, so let's see what we can do here. Obviously, the first thing I'm going to do is upgrade my sword. There we go. 81 melee damage? That's nice. Oh, and also my dagger leveled up, too. Your stealth attacks always apply curse. And I, I now do 733 damage with stealth attacks? That's pretty amazing. Alright, well, here's the thing. I can't recruit these guys just yet, which is unfortunate. And, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to need to recruit an orc. Oh, wow, that's, that's pretty hard as well. Okay, well, let's see. What is this guy weak against? Nothing. Yeah. Immune to fire, poison, curse, frost, and beast. So, how am I going to kill him? <laughs> I guess with executions. He's enraged by poison, so that's obviously not very good. Uh, he has slaughter cleavers, and... He, okay, he's not actually that good, with the exception of his attacks dealing immense damage and him having a cursed weapon. Uh, okay, you know what I'm going to do? There's something that I have here. I have a cloak, I think, that reduces curse. Yeah, reduces the duration of curse. So I'm going to be wearing that. And then I'm also going to be changing out something else here. I'm going to be changing Elven Light to fire because he becomes enraged by poison. So obviously, we do not want him to do that. Is he, is he also enraged by, by... Wait a minute, let's have a look at him once again. He's not immune to ranged attacks. Retreat and live to fight again! Oh, don't retreat, you idiots. Uh, okay, apparently they're going to retreat. Well, that's not very good, is it? Let's do some damage. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I don't really mind about even killing the guys that are nearby to us at the moment, because, let's face it, they were retreating anyway, and it gives us some good loot, I guess. Maybe. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to hopefully <laughs> they're all just dying uh, I'm gonna get my my summon out and this guy's retreating I'm gonna try and dominate him if I can there we go get him yes okay hopefully he doesn't have iron will if this guy has iron will I'm going to be so annoyed no it doesn't seem like he has any any strengths at all which is not very good There we go. Now you're going to fight with me. Alright, there we go, there we go. Alright, that's what we like. Okay, so I have my bodyguards. I have the newly recruited fellow as well. And who's this guy? Okay, so I think we're going to just do another elven light. Yeah, just get these guys out of here. Rube Face Eater. He is absolutely insanely good. Wow. He's immune to everything. I'm going to go over here and see if I can deal with him. I don't want him escaping because he's the legendary. There we go. Yes. Got curse on him. Is he immune to curse? I think he's immune to curse. So obviously that's not very good. He's also a vault breaker, which makes things even more difficult. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to do things the old-fashioned way and not continue trying to vault over him. Who's that? Is that the guy I just... Nope. That's a different one. Wow. It's kind of not fair, is it? He's enraged by poison now because my friend has poison damage. 
Oh, yes, we, we know that the Slaughter Tribe has claimed victory. I mean, you don't need to tell us, thank you very much. Okay, so let's just try and knock him down. There we go. Do a little bit of damage to him that way. Uh, our other friend is actually still taking... Uh, he's bleeding out now, our other guy. So that's not very good, is he? Okay, he's not immune to executions. So I'm going to try and do an execution move on him when I can. This is the guy that we really have to deal with right here. We really need to, you know, take him out. So, uh, uh, you know, the best thing we can do is just eliminate him. And it doesn't really matter about the other guy bleeding out, even though I would like to prevent him from bleeding out because it gives us more allies in this area. Am I... Oh, wow, I had a spider on me. Can you believe it? Can you believe that? Yep, I guess you can. All right. Well, this guy's probably going to retreat pretty soon. I would assume. Oh, look at that. We upgraded our cloak. Nice. Yes, I know. He bled out. But he was epic as far as I'm aware, wasn't he? So he did drop a pretty decent... Pretty decent weapon. Or something. Pretty decent item. Kill him. Yes. There we go. He's dead. Okay, so now give me something nice. Ooh, the longbow. I think this one fancied himself a ranger. Or a tracker. Mordor's equivalent. Subtract your years of training and substitute feral cunning instead. I'm pretty happy with this. I am pretty happy with this, actually. I am gonna actually just take a look and see what the... What the, what, what are these guys doing? Hello. <laughs> well, that was amusing. They're just like, oh, we're, we're defenders. We're gonna be defending this one point. Yeah, that was that was kind of funny. All right, well, let's go and pick up this rune over here, and we'll pick up this as well. And you never know, some of these things might be really, really cool. I'm really thankful that I had this guy with me because I don't think I would have been able to do anything if I didn't have my bodyguard. I'm gonna dismiss him now. Sending me off, eh? Yeah, I'm sending you off, eh? Yeah, I'm sending you off. There we go. Okay, so we're done with that. That's pretty nice. And we, uh, well, we, we gained a, a dagger, which is not very good. And our sword obviously was upgraded last time. And we gained a bow with huge amounts of amazing things. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to I'm gonna use this. There we go. And we gain one of these. Take no damage from poison? Wow, that's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. Obviously, I don't really want that right now, but I think that's pretty amazing. And we also gain a cloak, which increases the duration of curse inflicted on enemies by 86%. So basically, almost doubling the time that it takes. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Well, that will be it for this episode. Next time, I guess we'll be helping out Altariel, because obviously she helped us with... Uh, wow. Okay. Ah. Uh... I don't know whether you see what's happening to my health right now. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So, as you can see, uh, my health is going down all the time. And I guess what you need to do is continue killing enemies. And I think I actually don't even have the right build for this. Because there are numerous amounts of different builds that you can take with different sets. And I think this, in particular, is really, really good with the one that allows you to increase your HP from dominating and draining and things like that. Because if we're able to do that, then that would obviously make things much, much easier. So, yeah, I think we're probably going to have to swap that out. Isn't that interesting? That's very, very interesting. And also... Slowly drains health, but briefly increases damage after drain or dominate. Yeah, that's pretty good. But obviously, you're going to have to be in battle. So, I guess what I'm going to do is... Swap this out for this? Yeah. And then I'm going to try and upgrade that and take no damage from poison. That sounds like a really good idea to me. And we'll use the longbow, because the longbow seems pretty fun. So, yeah, okay. Well, as I said, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.